What is up, guys? I know some of you have probably been wondering where is your week six GBA match? Um, well, to give you a, a clear cut answer, uh, it doesn't exist. <laughs> and the reason for that is that uh, Danza and I had a very long game, and right up at the end of the game, uh, the uh, I don't know if it was a server or what, what have you, decided to disconnect us, and thus we had no replay. And we decided among ourselves, as well as with the, uh, the GBA Council, uh, that it would be a better idea if we just tried to explain what happened in the game, rather than uh, trying to, to recreate it because it was way too many turns and we couldn't possibly get everything correct. Uh, especially with how many times I clicked Wish Protect. So, uh, <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over uh, the team that I brought uh, while also explaining to you sort of what happened in the battle. So, um, I'll just let you guys look at the sets as I try to uh, to break this down for you. So, uh, the six that Danza brought, uh, you see his team on the right side at the bottom, uh, are Palkia, Genesect, Bulu, Heatran, Crook, and I believe the last was, I want to say Gengar, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think it was Gengar. Uh, yes. And so uh, the way that the game played out was basically um, he led off with his Genesect as I led off with my Torn. And uh, I wanted to see what his uh, Genesect was early on. So I decided to, I think I went for a Heat Wave early um, as he switched into Palkia and he uh, took the hit pretty well obviously because it's quad resisted uh, and then I u-turned into this thing into Licky Licky and uh, basically uh, tried to wall the um, the heck out of the Palkia <laughs> for the remainder of the game try to waste all its spatial rends and whatnot so the idea was to have Licky Licky as my check to uh, to Palkia the problem with this was uh, he had a lot of really good physical threats, including his Genesect, but probably the most annoying one was his Bulu, and his Bulu was Leech Seed Sub uh, Protect, so and Horn Leech as last move. So obviously my Mawile walled it for the most part. The problem was, um, even though I was Substitute, I had no speed, I was minus speed because I have Trick Room on the team. And uh, his Bulu pretty much always got a sub up on me and was able to, uh, if Grassy Terrain was up, was able to deal with my Mawile through the use of, um, of Horn Leech and I wouldn't be able to break through his Bulu quite effectively. Uh, so what I tried to do throughout the game was get in my Mawile, break his sub, switch out into Torn as he subbed again, Heat Wave, let him get off another Leech CD, U turn out, make sure that kept up momentum the whole game. So that's, that's a lot of what happened. Um, somewhere near the, uh, I want to say 15 minute mark left in the match, um, my, I had, I still had my whole, my full team of six and uh, I had knocked out his heat ran with a knockoff, uh, from Tornadus. He had switched it in a few times on Torn while Grassy Terrain wasn't up. He was taking damage and I was able to, uh, to get rid of the heat ran. So at this point I was, um, I was basically uh, playing for uh, for the timer win if possible, but uh, I was still going to try to uh, to kill some some more mons in the process. Obviously, uh, so the time is winding down. He brings in his uh, crocodile uh, at some point, and I get sort of jammed up with my Rotom as uh, I end up with Licky Licky on the field. As he starts U-turning with his Genesect and bringing in Crocodile constantly, and the thing is, I'm uh, Spadef on my Licky, so what it what ended up happening was that uh, his Genesect was getting uh, consistent, constant attack boosts every time it came in, and it was able to U-turn for free. At this point in the match, I'm still under the impression that his Genesect is scarfed, uh, and then he just just didn't want to reveal it early on against my Tornadus, so. Uh, I keep wish protecting and at some point I try to catch his crocodile switch because that's what he was doing He was you turning into crook um, I would try to catch his crook switch with Rotom uh, and get it in on a wish turn um, However, he brings in his Genesect and he ends up clicking dark pulse and knocking out my Rotom So now I'm staring down a 5 to 5 situation with about 10 minutes left in the match um, I see him go for Dark Pulse, and I'm like, okay, uh, cool, let's go to uh, Mawile, he's probably locked into Dark Pulse, and we're gonna go for a Substitute, 
and uh, or a play rough because he has no play rough resists outside of this Genesect and his Dark Pulse is going to do absolutely nothing to me. Uh, his Bulu is still like at full health at this point, so I'm just trying to get off damage on something. So I click play rough and he goes for flamethrower and he has a special attack boost. So he turns out not to be scarfed. So now this is horrible for me because I'm at a 5-4 deficit with 10 minutes left. So I bring in my Tornadus. Knowing that he's probably going to switch out his Genesect into Palkia, I end up going for Focus Blast. Uh, I think I connect it, and it does about 30%, um, leaving him with about 44-ish percent. Uh, so I end up U-turning out to try to get uh, a little bit more chip damage on his Palkia. I end up bringing my Licky Licky in, letting it die to Palkia so that I can bring back in my Torn and uh, Focus Blast again. Um, at this point, uh, I think this is about where the game DC'd. So, uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a replay from that, but um, I want to go over how I feel about the match. So, first things first, I want to commend Danz on how he played. Uh, I think that past uh, that 15 minute mark, he played like a god, and he caught me uh, on a lot of turns where I feel like I should have uh, been in control and taken better uh, precautionary measures, but I was so in, under so much pressure from his physical attackers that I just brought in my Mawile the way that I did and let it go down. Uh, second thing is if I feel that if there was more time on the clock um, that I would have been able to deal with the entirety of his team with just Salamence. Uh, so this set is very interesting as you can see I'm wide lens. This is to never miss fly or to miss it like only 1% of the time. Uh, no, it's 95 accuracy, so it never misses. Uh, Iron Tail goes up to like 83% uh, accuracy, and Aqua Tail uh, goes up to 99. So I had this coverage on uh, on Salamence uh, because it could deal with his entire team. Fly was just free. Uh, Palkia would die to, to plus one uh, very early on. Um, the Bulu would go down to plus one Iron Tail, uh, and I'd continuously get Moxie boosts. All I had to do was find out what was Scarfed and what wasn't. The problem is, by the time that I found out that his Genesect and his uh, Gengar weren't Scarfed, um, it was already too late. There was not enough time left in the match. I couldn't get in Salamence safely. Uh, I would have had to bring it in on his, uh, his Bulu, at which point he would have probably just subbed, or his Crocodile locked into, like, Earthquake, and that's when I could have gotten up a Dragon Dance. Obviously, I'm max speed to, uh, to speed tie, uh, Scarf Palkia, but he wasn't Scarf Palkia, so, um, this thing definitely could have swept, swept straight through him if I had enough time. Uh, I believe his Crocodile was, I want to say it was Intimidate, um, it could have been Moxie, I don't exactly remember, it's been a while since we had the match, uh, but basically uh, I feel like the Salamence definitely could have won, uh, however I didn't position myself in a way to get it in early enough, I let the timer uh, take control, and uh, I lost as a result. So we go down to a 4-2 and two record, if you guys want to see, uh, by the way, a, uh, a paint rendition of uh, the battle <laughs> on, uh, on Microsoft Paint. Go to the Token Minorities channel and go and check out Danza's side of this video. It's actually uh, of this uh, of this battle rather. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> it's really well done. Uh, I enjoy his uh, his little MS Paint uh, drawings of the um, of the Mons in the game. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. I think I gave a good enough detailed. Um, analysis of how the game went down. Uh, Reuniclus only ever hit the field when Bulu was in. I wanted to get it in on the turn where um, where Grassy Terrain wasn't up so that he couldn't beat me down because uh, he can't leech seed this obviously so he would be limited to just going for uh, horn leeches. There was a moment in time where I had my Reuniclus in and I could have clicked HP fire on a switch to Genesect and I think at that point I would have just won the game uh, because his Genesect would have gone down. Based on my investment uh, with rocks up, Genesect drops, it dies, uh, to HP fire, so as you can see, I'm, I'm a quiet nature, uh, and I never got up Trick Room uh, as a result either, because I think I doubled out my Reuniclus immediately, or I went for a Psychic as he went into uh, Genesect, uh, might have been a Recover or something along those lines, uh, but I only got in my Reuniclus once, it was that one turn, and I feel like if I would have gotten this thing in a little more often against the Bulu when Terrain was down, uh, I could have definitely put in more work. But, uh, but that's not how it went. Uh, we do fall to the timer, unfortunately, but, uh, but I don't blame Danza for, for playing for the timer either near the end. It was his best way to win. 
Uh, he definitely kept control for, for a large portion of the game, uh, more so toward the late game. Uh, so honestly, kudos to him for, for playing so well. Uh, and he brought a very good team against me as well. He brought uh, great options, so nothing uh, nothing to say there. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, if you <laughs> did enjoy this little uh, team builder rendition of the game, uh, make sure to leave a like down below for us. I know it's not the best, and I'm, I do apologize for that. Uh, I can't really control when... Uh, the game is going to DC and not allow us to have a replay, so uh, I do apologize, but uh, anyway, that's uh, that's it. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this. Uh, make sure to hit uh, that subscribe button if this is your first time on the channel. If you're coming here from the Token Minorities or otherwise, I uh, do appreciate the, uh, the subscription. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys uh, thought of this style. <laughs> Obviously, we don't have a battle, but uh, if this was sufficient enough or... Uh, or what you think I could have done differently because I really like pl I uh, mapped out the game for you so it should give you a good idea of, of more or less how it went down but uh, but yeah that's it guys uh, thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys uh, tomorrow actually I'm recording this on Saturday uh, and I'm putting this up right away but um, but I will see you guys tomorrow for our game against uh, El Scizor and his uh, Borussia Dawn fan, uh, Lars, uh, an old friend of ours from the Draft League community. So, uh, so definitely uh, make sure to check that out tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Ciao.